Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I'm on my way into London this morning. I've got to go in to take care of some business. I'm attending some big meetings, you know, we've got some big brand deals coming soon. Jokes, I'm actually going into London to test drive a new car. Well, not a new car, but a new car to me. You know what I mean? You guys know that I'm currently trying to find a new car now. I know the exact type, the exact make and model. However, they are fairly hard to get hold of for like decent money. I'm not gonna bore you with the details right now. I'm on my way to London. I don't even know why I started the vlog now because I can't take the camera with me, obviously, when I'm test driving the car to get I don't know. I'll see you in a bit. Update, I'm now at London Gate Services on the M1. I thought coming into London the traffic would be horrendous, so, do, so to do a 50 mile journey or an 80k journey, I left two hours and it actually hasn't taken me much more than an hour. So I've got the best part of an hour to kill because my appointment, my test drive isn't for another hour. So I'm just sat here drinking coffee. Hey, Mallorca seems like such a far cry away two days ago. When I'm pulled up in the service station, it's 12 degrees. It's been raining all morning and it's really misty. Oi, I really miss the UK. I'm finally home from London now. It's actually brightened up a little bit. I went test driving a car. Did I buy it? Did I not? What did I do? I don't know. You're gonna have to wait and find out. But I think I've been home for two days now. And the bike, and the bike is still well and truly in its box. The day's getting on a little bit. We've still got some daylight left. So I think it's only right that we build the bike up and head out for a spin. Boosh. Built the bike back up and also gave it a clean. The only thing I haven't done is put the pedals back on. The reason is because... And that is because yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, PowerTap very, very kindly sent me out some, some PowerTap P1 pedals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the installation process to see how complicated the setup and installation is. Obviously, if you're doing this yourself, I would recommend you read the instructions. But for the benefit of this video, I'm not going to be reading any instructions. I'm just going to try and figure it all out myself. As you can imagine, because the power has been registered on both pedals, it's a two-sided power meter. You get power from your left foot and your right foot and they are powered with a triple a battery now power tap very kindly include two batteries with with the pedals themselves i'm guessing the battery component is pretty watertight as you need an allen key to unscrew the bolt in order to insert the battery in don't know how good these batteries are going to be they look pretty cheap pretty basic i'm sure they're going to get me going and i was quickly looking online and one battery lasts for about 60 hours which isn't a huge deal of battery life but i guess when you're using a triple a battery it's very very easy to change and very easy to put a new one in one battery done now the other one, simple as that. All right, sweet, batteries are in. I've just downloaded the PowerTap app. I'm, op I'm gonna open it for the first time here. So it looks like we're gonna sign up, hold on, hold on. Oh, log in later, we'll do that. Allow PowerTap to access your location. Okay, create new sports, pro hmm. cycling, add sensor. The reason I wanna connect the pedals to the phone is because I know the way that you update the firmware is through the app. So let's just try and, uh, Bluetooth is turned off. Okay, turn Bluetooth on, searching for sensors. Wow, all right, so it's already found them, literally in a matter of seconds. Let's just click on them and connect to them. Um, so we got the left pedal and the right pedal are both connected. Let's go back. How do we like update the firmware? Ah, okay, firmware up to date, firmware up to date. Crank length, the default crank length is 172.5. I actually run 175 millimeter cranks. So I'm just gonna update that for both the left and the right pedal. And the other thing you wanna do before pretty much every ride is set the zero offset. That just basically calibrates the power meters, which allows the power meters to be as accurate as possible. So these just connected to the phone instantly. Now I'm gonna try and connect it to the Garmin. Hopefully they connect successfully. If they do, I'm gonna go and stick them on the bike and then I'm gonna head out for a quick spin. So again, I haven't touched the power meters. I guess they're still turned on from when they were connected to my phone a minute ago. We just go and add a new sensor. Sensor, power, search power. And hopefully it's gonna detect the power tap pedals. Power sensor found. Sweet. You also can calibrate the power meters on the actual Garmin itself, which is what I've always done with my previous power meters. Okay, so one thing I didn't realize over the past two weeks whilst I've been out of the country is how short the days are starting to become. It's not even five o'clock yet and it's already starting to go dark, so I've not got time to go out on the bike tonight, like for a proper ride. I was just gonna jump on the indoor trainer, but I can't really be bothered. This is gonna be now two days of completely no training, but I guess it's okay over the past two week block. And these two days will be a nice rest for the body before I start like properly, you know, a proper winter training program. Which, quick side note, I have started actually working with someone. Well, I've been 
been working for someone with the past little while now. More details on that in the coming days and weeks. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly jump on the bike this evening so I can just check the power meters are working. As I started riding and turned the Garmin on, it said that the pedals were connected. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and quickly calibrate it before I do anything. Calibrate, calibrate. Calibration successful, okay. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Nice one, working just how they should be. How easy, like, that was so, so easy to set up. I literally put the batteries in the pedals, downloaded the app on my phone, connected the pedals to my phone, changed the crank length to 175 millimeter, put them on the bike, connected them to my Garmin, calibrated them and started riding. Very, very simple setup process. Good job, guys. Sick riding attire, I know, but as I said, I just wanted to get out and just, just test the pedals, make sure they're all working and make sure there's no faults with them, which there's not. Now, it's a shame it would be good to be able to try and uh, compare them. Obviously, I've got my SRM power meter on there as well. It would be good to have both running with two different GPS devices and I don't know, go and do a two or three hour ride and just compare the powers at different stages. However, as you all know, my SRM has stopped working again. So I can't do that, which is so frustrating. I don't know, maybe I can try and get the SRM fixed and we can do that in a, in a video just to test it and just to see the comparisons really. I've just been riding around this housing estate and I'm completely lost now, no word of a lie. I'm gonna try and find my way home before it gets too dark. I kind of want, I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of want like tomorrow or soon, I want the weather to be really, really bad, like a, like a constant rainy three hour ride, just purely so I can test the uh, durability of these pedals or just to make sure that they don't stop working in, in the rain. And again, just to make sure that they are waterproof and sealed and tight and there's no problems that way. The seals on the pedals are all pretty good, so I don't imagine that there will be any. Anyway, it's getting dark. I've not got any lights with me. It's home time. Sick ride, under 10 minutes average power of 101 watts. So far I've said nothing but praise about these pedals, but whilst I was just bringing my bike in then, I suddenly had a thought in my brain. I think it's important to try and keep things as equal and as balanced as possible here. Now obviously the unit, the device, the battery is all underneath the pedal, which inevitably adds some mass to the underside of the pedal. Now as I was arriving back home then, I was thinking in my head, I was thinking in my head, I wonder if it'd be a problem when you are, for example, in a crit and you're cornering tight. I wonder if the bottom of the pedal, so the power meter, I wonder if there's any chance of that hitting and scraping in the floor or because of the angle in the bike and the pedal would that not be a problem like if we can imagine here we're in a bike race we're taking a corner nice and tight and then we're pedaling through a corner like i wonder if there's any chance of this hitting the floor i don't know i guess i'm just gonna have to test it and find out for myself but initial thoughts on the whole great great product wait so i've just come back inside i'm both the dogs are sleeping Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? You just like you just you just like eating the microphone, don't you? No. So the puppy's been great so far. His only weakness is he just tries to bite you all the time. Whenever he's excited, he just bites. Ow, ow, ow. But with that being said, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a thumbs up and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.